see where the hell we are here. So basically due south there's a place where the roads come together it creates a little little three-way intersection and that's actually a pretty dandy spot usually now normally I come out of the southern camp um, right right at, at 5 a.m. and I follow the road up and go to that point so I don't know how it'll be this time of day but we could we could certainly walk our way down there check it out that's fine we're we're in whitetail territory now there's a few muleys around but we must be like right on the border because of that that one just came down there like the only place yep yeah this is this is like i say this is whitetail territory right in here by this stand is where they're real heavy probably heaviest on the map and as you go south fewer whitetails more mule deer and as you go north fewer whitetails more mule deer <laughs> where's where is bear located he's up in canada but i couldn't tell you where in canada mm. Well, I said 10 p.m. and it occurred to me that that time could have been different for him. Yeah. So... I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, different time zones. But the, what, mm. six, I believe. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know where he is up there. All I know is he's far enough out that you gotta fly in and fly out. Yeah. With a pontoon plane, I guess he has. You know, I've always wanted to do that go out there and fish. Yeah. Go out someplace in the middle of nowhere and spend a few days. To take well, it you know, it's, it's been long enough since my uh, pulmonary embolism and I've recovered enough that I've honestly been thinking about a fishing trip or a hunting trip again. Get back out there. You should. Sure? Mm -hmm. And that is a boar. He's up on the road. Not too bad. Not too far away. Get eyes on him here. I can't even see the road right now. <laughs> there we go. The sun is broken. Oh, the the road is basically right up there where the, where the flat is. Is it okay? Yeah, it's just a just a short distance away. There. See if we spot him. I wouldn't be heartbroken to take another pig unless you want to take him with the crossbow or something. Doesn't matter to me. I've got a awesome pig poo there. <laughs> Cause you know me. They're my mortal enemy. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't hate them so much if I could eat them. <laughs> The fact that I gotta get run over by him and I can't eat him? Oh hell no. That's it. They are the enemy. Did you get oh, that? That's a, yeah, that's a white tail who's off over. Oh, that's, yeah, that's different. That's not the same one. Yep, yep. Uh, if you're gonna give a try for that mule deer, I just may slip over to the west here and see if I can spot this white tail. Okay. I'm gonna try to call this one in and see if I can. while you head out that way. Well, I'm gonna, I'll slip right up here. Okay. I'll, I'll drop a squirt of mule deer scent oh, and okay. call from right here. That should bring him right down the road. You go for that white tail. And th these calls potentially should pull the white tail in this direction. Well, I'll, I'll be using my crossbow. Yep. So, so I'll slip over this way, see if the white tail is moving in this direction. And because I'm just gonna get, basically, I'm gonna get on the high spot here, and that way I'll be able to see if the white tail comes in, and I'll be able to see if the mule deer is moving in from, uh, you know, the back side here. He was on the road. Yeah. Well, this is up here where the roads meet. This is. This is usually a really good mule deer spot, like I say, so. Yeah. That's my white tail. Yeah. I think he's moving in. 
He's getting kind of close to me. I might want to go on the other side of this tree. Yeah. That way he won't see me. I'm, I'm going to slip forward a bit here. I haven't heard mine for a while. What was that? I heard something take off. I don't know, I didn't hear anything. All I can hear is the rain. Yeah, something ran off, but it sounded like it came from your direction. Hmm. So it could have been a doe or something. Yeah, it wasn't on my right. It, the sound came distinctly from my left. <coughs> so I don't think it was your white tail. Oh, Lord God in heaven. What? Is that a white tail or what? And he's 40 meters out. I don't think I can take him with the bow from here. I think he sees me. Oh boy. I'm gonna hit the deck. I'm gonna drop a scent patch and uh, give a call and see if maybe he'll move in. I went prone. But he is just an amazing whitetail. Could be, could be the best whitetail I've seen. Get a spot on him here. 30 meters out. Well, he must be practically on top of me. 135 to 215. Jeez. I hate to take a shot at this range, but I'm gonna. Oh, and I shot over his back. There he goes. He was probably the best white people I've ever personally laid eyes on. Wow. trying to decide now because he was one that I think it would have been my personal best. Damn. I think I may have tracked him. Normally I don't shoot at those kind of ranges, but... Couldn't let him get away, huh? Yeah, normally normally something like that I'd have shot with the firearm, but I didn't want to run off the mule deer if he had one coming in. I'm not so sure he didn't keep going. Because I haven't heard a peep out of him since. Now the thing is, is that the bottom end of his estimate was almost my personal best. So Jeez. it's like the odds are that he would he would be my personal best animal. So I'm gonna check him. You're more than welcome to join me. I think I'm or, going to because I think this one's moved on. All right. He was, there's a track just ahead by that, that stump, and that's, he was near that track when he called. Yep. Yep. Just kind of, oh. Ha 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 ha. See him? Yep, I got a flash of him. Where'd you go, you? If it's him, anyway. Yep, it is, because there's his track. Where'd 
to go, pal. There's a low area there, and he's down in that low area. Basically, I wouldn't have even noticed him, but, you know, they pick up a little bit of shot when it's raining. Yeah. But his track is just ahead and left. Is that you? Yeah, it's me. I'm just kind of crawling over there. <laughs> Dog coming in now too. Yeah. Basically, he circled right back around to where he was when I originally saw him. Concerned, he's going to come up over the hilltop on on the right side there. I'm just going to ease my way up a little bit at a time here. I wanted one this bad. Oh, the rain could be helpful. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking. That's him. Can I get the prone shot? I sure can. Oh, good. Say goodnight, Gracie. down? He is down. Let's go look at him. <coughs> you probably don't have to crouch anymore. <laughs> I'm just, it, like they say, anticipation is the best sauce. <laughs> And there's also excitement, but I want to just see what the hell he looks like. <laughs> oh, wow. Damn. <coughs> Look at that wreck. How many points is that? Looks like he's only a 12 point buck, actually. Yeah, but they're huge. Yep. Well, let's see what it says. 161. Really? Yep. yep. That's alright. I think it's definitely him. I don't think it's a different deer. What's your personal best on the white tail? 172. Mm. How many will these guys get like 256s or whatever it is they get? <laughs> Just do nothing but hunt? Well, he may not have, uh, he may not have um, been my personal best, but he just fulfilled a mission for me, so I don't know what the heck that was about. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't see how that can't be higher than that. Look at those antlers.
Yeah, he's he's something. I guess you know. I guess maybe it's because there's only 12 points. Maybe. You know, if he'd have been a 14 pointer or something like that, of course it would have been, you know, much much more substantial. Yeah. See if I can get his head up now, facing us. Damn. Well, God, it's hard to move around. That's good. That's real good. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was looking for right there. So I might go and be able to get a snapshot off the film so I can put it in there. There we go. I think that that's probably as good as I'm gonna get. But that, I mean, <laughs> you look at that and it looks like just such an amazing freaking rack. I can't believe that that's what the score was. But I'm not gonna complain. It fulfilled a mission called Trophy Hunter. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't complain at that, that's for damn sure. <coughs> and even took him with the hard shot. I was like, okay, this guy is not getting away. I almost never do the hard shot. Marvin dropped the link for something in, in the mumble chat. And since I heard the bunnies up here, I just hold it still. That is an image of my new setup of the new pig barrel in yep, yep. the outback. Oh, that is an um, excellent you can have location. A look at, you can have a look at that later. Yep, that is an excellent location. Yeah, here's some more tracks that we're gonna do. Yeah, you should you should get a really good Overwatch from there. Oh, there's got to be one close. Is that what? A, is that one right there? Damn it! Yep, it is. I see him. Oh, you stand still, you little bugger. Stand still. I don't even know what this idea how far out he is. So I'm kind of guessing at the range. Uh, I'll work my way up, see if I can spot him and get your range on him. don't see him, Huck. He's right next to a stump and a dead tree that sticks up. He's right in below it. Well, the... Oh, there he is. He is 25 meters out. Ah, that's why. He... Oh, you hit him. There's a blood patch. Oh, and he's down. Yep. Good. <laughs> see, I thought he was a little further out than that, and I was, but I was just eyeballing it. So I was shooting too, too high, uh, high out. Yep. And the reason I'm so quiet, Marv, is because I'm muting my mic occasionally because I'm putting a little food in my face. Oh, yeah. I heard some, I heard a clanking and dishes. I thought it was Hawkeye. <laughs> Not me. Let's see, where'd he go? There he is. Ooh, I scared him. <laughs> It is a female, 1488. A 1488 is a damn fine cottontail. Really? Hmm. Where are you at, Settlers Creek? There she is. See the arrow? <laughs> uh, we're on Loggers Point. Oh, Loggers Point. Right through the middle of her. Yeah, we uh, started up at the upper ledge, and we've just kind of been working our way down. There's some kind of tracks over here, dude. Got a got a real nice white tail from his horns. I thought he was gonna be just amazing and it estimated that he could be as much as a 215 but he ended up coming out 161 there's more cottontail bunnies this is the hot spot yep 
But when you when you see the picture, you can probably understand why I figured he was going to be my new personal best, but did not make it. It's